Ryan, what's on your radar? So we talk a lot on this show about cancel culture, wokeness, and speech debates on campus, and it always seems to involve the same few colleges. And the notion of the existence of a working person never seems to enter into the equation. The only exception seems to be when a hapless janitor gets fired for offending students by enforcing campus rules. Then, for a few days, the janitor is denounced as racist, and then the anti-woke crowd comes in and condemns the oversensitive students and the weak, groveling administration, and we wait until the next student gets triggered, and we do the whole thing all over again. So yesterday, The Intercept reported on a new, or maybe not so new, version of the genre, but this one involved actual, indisputable political censorship by a college administration, and it also involved, and this is probably why you won't hear much about it from our elite media, it involved campus workers. The setting is Bates College, and the reporter, Nathan Bernard, is the same one who brought us the expose, so to speak, of the state of Maine's war on the MILF mobile, which we covered here a while ago. Nathan reports, quote, Bates College administration pressured campus newspaper The Bates Student on Wednesday to remove an article from its website featuring interviews with five Bates employees trying to unionize adjunct faculty and non-managerial staff. The student's original October 13th article detailed dire working conditions during the more severe months of the pandemic, Bates administration's use of intimidation tactics, and the benefits of unionization. According to staff members at the Bates Student, the paper's managing editor who wrote the story took her article down at the behest of Bates media relations specialist Mary Pauls and the administration the same day it was posted. The following day, an edited version of the story was published to the Bates Student's website. In the news story, pro-union information and worker quotes were replaced with anti-union talking points and comments from Bates administration. Now, this is the kind of story I'd love to see kick off a national conversation, and it already fits within a conversation that workers across the country are forcing the media to have, either by striking, by quitting, or simply by refusing to apply to crap jobs. The details of this Bates College scandal are wild, and the administration is is claiming that it was merely protecting students from, quote, misinformation. In the original, John Michael Foley, a grounds and maintenance worker who supports unionizing, said this about working indoors during the pandemic. It was scary. I had a pregnant wife at the time. I broke quarantine to come back to work just to immediately find that the second management looked away, everyone on campus was okay with it. The version edited by the administration quoted him saying that coming to work at Bates during the pandemic was actually his patriotic duty. We had two weeks at home and I was tempted to stay buttoned up, but but decided that my nanas had both worked the shipyards during World War II. My version of contributing to the world would be offloading trucks for Bates College. In another instance, the original story quoted Francis Eanes, a visiting faculty member who said there had been, quote, numerous instances of managers and senior vice presidents intimidating staff workers. Ian said that management was, quote, seeding totally baseless claims about workers potentially losing their benefits if they unionized. In the new version, most of Ian's quotes were simply erased. In all, the administration succeeded in adding roughly a thousand new words to the piece, the bulk of it anti-union propaganda that serves the administration's goal of stopping the union from forming. This is the type of censorship on campus that we truly can't let stand, and it's a put-up or shut-up moment for the anti-woke freedom fighters like Barry Weiss or Ch- and Thomas Chatterton Williams. But not just them. If you're one of the folks who likes to join a mob to get a professor censured for showing the wrong Othello without the proper trigger warning, where are you on this? If you found yourself gleefully participating in some elite college scandal pile-on, and you're silent when it happens to college workers, then you have to ask what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish because it isn't social justice. So, Robbie, and I I suspect the libertarian wing of the cancel cancel culture world um, is all all for uh, these students here, is standing behind them. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a a great story. Thanks for reporting it. Um, it, This isn't the first time I've seen something like this. The the pressure exerted on student newspapers is a real um, real pressure point on a lot of campuses because 
these students are reliant on often funding that you know comes their way via vis a vis the administration in some and, sense, and, and they the, often feel yeah. pressure. And they're not always so. The Diamondback, you know, I went to grad school at mm -hmm. University of Maryland, and the, the the paper there went independent at one point and gets a bunch of ads from like local bars That's and nice. pizza places, and so as a result, is able to have a more adversarial relationship with with the administration. Have you noticed in your campus reporting? If there's a core, how, if 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 other, it, how many independent newspapers there are? Are most are most of them funded by, by the school itself? M most of them get some amount of funding, at mm -hmm. least from the school. They may also sell ads. Right. They may also have different policies on how much. You know, I mean, none of typically the student reporters aren't actually getting paid like something like even close to a living right. wage. They're getting some kind of pittance compensation, but right. it's partly an educational experience. I, and, and also it, that it's different on every campus. How much um, does the journalism department at the school play some formal role in how the paper is run? Is there a mentor type person? Mm -hmm. Because often that person can be a lackey for the administration mm -hmm. and, is, and is, you know, more, you want less involvement. You want the students to right. kind of figure this out for themselves. So but at the same I, time, you want mentor, mentorship as right, well. You want learning. So it's interest, that's an interesting it's an dilemma. interesting trade-off. I've I've seen it both ways. I've seen right. it where uh, it ha treating it like a more formal educational experience is bad for the uh, editorial independence. But as you said, right. this is clearly a a free speech issue. So you're right. Everyone who selectively picks their cancel culture problem and is silent on this is a hypocrite. You should ab this should absolutely be condemned, and the administration should be. I mean, that's it's, it's so it's it was so blatant. The re right. the rewriting of quotes to sound more that was like a North Korean student right. paper, right? Oh, glorious patriotism <laughs> lives on. Uh, shameful stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, and we'll see if it ends up backfiring because you know these articles can be important because they're the only, often the only outlet covering this type of a labor dispute would be the college newspaper. And so, what's in the college newspaper is how people understand the situation. And so, that's why the administration was you know so invested in getting all of its talking points into into the article. But there could be a Streisand effect, where now all of a sudden a ton of students realize, like, oh wait, there's a union fight going on, and, and the administration is is in the wrong here. So it could it could end up backfiring since they got caught. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it did, and which is just speaks to how stupid this was yes, this, and how blatant. Yes, not not a not a great move. Coming up, Team Rising discusses Biden's plan to reinstate one of Donald Trump's border policies. Stick with us.